Hey, welcome to this uh, quick little video blog. Uh, I'm going to be covering uh, the relationship assistant. Uh, useful, useful tool whenever you're dealing with a uh, an imported assembly that's not native to Solid Edge. Help you quickly add uh, relationships to the different components inside assembly and help you uh, help you add those in and even strip away. Uh, the default grounded relationship that's added in. So here what you see on the screen is a typical, well not really typical, but this is one of the typical training files that you can get uh, inside your uh, training folder or as part of the fundamentals class. It's just a regular ball valve. This is a regular ball valve that was just created. Uh, if you look here, I have certain relationships applied to each one of these parts. So this would be a fully defined uh, assembly, I can't click and drag anything off of anything because everything has been constrained. Um, the other thing you might notice is a little check mark. This is just uh, file management stuff, telling you this stuff's been, all these parts have been released. So don't worry if you don't have those same icons appearing. But this is typically, you know, a fully done, fully fully assembled part that you may that you may create, and it's kind of what you're used to. On an imported assembly, and what I did was I just saved this assembly out as a parasolid, and I'm just going to go ahead and bring it back in into a regular assembly environment. So what you can see here is the new ball valve, and with all imported assemblies, everything automatically gets grounded where it's at. So it's assuming that it was assembled correctly from the other from the other uh, platform. When it brings it in, solid the, the the relationships don't translate over. So what it does is, it just locks everything in place by applying this ground relationship to it. And again, these little symbols here that just means that this design is available as part of the file management system. Um, down below in the relationships, you can see grounded. You can also tell it's grounded by the little blue diamond next to each one of the parts, signifying it's grounded and you can really can't, if I go into drag, nothing's going to move because as it's grounded, it's fixed. Um, the relationship assistant is sitting right up here inside the assemble toolbar, menu ribbon. The little icons above capture fit. If it's grayed out on your system, that is because you have a solid edge class, uh, foundation license. The assembly relationship is only available with uh, with classic or premium so if you have one of those two license files uh, this option will become available to you and you can not use this command use this tool and you can see that it's quite a bit of a time saver so first off you know if I did bring in this assembly and I didn't want to relocate everything I'd have to go into each single one of these parts open it up open the relationship and either suppress or delete that relationship what well, you can use the assembly relationship assistant for is to strip away all the either grounded relationships on a part or you can actually remove all the relationships that are currently on you know any relationship that is on that assembly so you can use it for imported or current assemblies uh, the options above underneath where it says click select first set assignment and then it has select second set uh, all other parts of the assemblies parts current owner itself these are just selection options on how it wants to apply the new assemblies to it. So if you do a second set, you'll pick what you want to use as your reference part and then what you want to assemble to it. That would be the first set. All other parts in the assembly simply helps you to, you know, it's just defining the first set and the second set. It's just that the second set will consist of uh, any other part that's remaining in the assembly. So you pick your first set, hit OK and it automatically assumes the rest of the assembly parts that are connected that are shown and it'll only go in there and search for the connected parts we'll get relationships added into it so all of the parts in the assembly parts currently shown kind of do the same thing it's just that all the other parts in the assembly refers to all the other parts in the assembly and if there's only a certain part shown so where you have some hidden in a display configuration only those parts will get relationships applied to it and then you know you have itself which applies the relationships between everything in set one so you can highlight all of it and tell it yeah I want all this stuff assembled to itself so I'll probably use that one 
But for right now, say I want to go ahead and remove all the ground relationships. For this, you just have to kind of go quickly through the steps. You know, select everything that you want. Part of the set, hit right click. And then when you reach this dialog box, instead of processing and adding any of the relationships, you just go ahead and hit close. And what that'll do is if you saw the change over here in my Pathfinder, all the parts are now ungrounded. So next thing you do is just go ahead and cancel out of the command. It'll tell you, hey, you know, you canceled out of it, but it went ahead and deleted all the relationships. For now, that's what I want. Say so I want to go ahead and strip this down bare. The only one it really didn't do is this actual subassembly. That's because it's a subassembly within this one, so this one's still technically grounded in. I could remove the ground relationship from here, but I'm only doing it on one part instead of, you know, all our 15 parts. So with that, I can go ahead and start, you know, dragging parts off. If I needed to, start dragging that one off, start dragging the front face, trying to get to other parts in the, in my assembly. Uh, control Z, a couple of Control Zs brings me back to where I started. Let me go ahead and save this as sound to do. And I'm saving it because I can see there I've made a change to this actual data set. So you can see there that that bolt hole isn't quite lined up with something. So to save myself some headache. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a quick synchronous change on this face here and relocate that face, make that flush, and then relocate these holes right quick. And I want those to be to the center of these right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and save it out. Now when I run a relationship assistant it should I shouldn't run into any other error. So let's see, go back over here, go back to my ISO, and I'm gonna go ahead and select Relationship Assistant. Let's go with the top option. Remember, this is going from one to another. So we're here just following me in my command bar, you know, select first set, look down at my prompt bar, select the first set, and select what's gonna be involved in the second set. So let's just go ahead and pick these bolts and this front end plate. Now I could go crazy and go ahead and select everything else, but just, for this now, right click to accept it. And then here with the dialog box, instead of just closing it out, I'm gonna go ahead and process. And what it's doing is it's going and processing what I selected in the second set to the housing. So I got it in my end plate, got my bolts, and the housing. Key thing is here, whenever you process it, you must accept the process changes. So I'll go ahead and accept those. We'll close it on out, hit finish get out of the command real quick and then you'll see the grounded relationship was now stripped away from the housing and I have a couple of relationships that have been added in so there on that part and looks like that's about it that's all I pretty much did in my first set I said this one try to find one between there and there a little more what's it called zeroed in option so if we kind of do it the other way and say you know I don't want this this to be in my first set and then let's go ahead and add in these different bolts down in here and let's throw in this one in the second set too. Again, as you can see the top end plates, everything's being associated to those two. Accept the changes, close it out, then you'll see that the end plate and the housing got stripped of their grounded relationship but the top part since it was still part of the second set it got relationships added in but it still maintained the the ground effect so so with that let's go ahead and try a different option now let's go ahead and just go to either let's go down to itself and let's go ahead and remove all the parts and this time everything's going to be part of the second set the first set and let's go ahead and throw the handle in there i mean we can we can go ahead and highlight everything we can exclude the housing if we wanted to Let's go ahead and process that way it gets everything in there. And you can see if you scroll down, it's going and adding in all these different types of relationships. And of course up here at the top you have the different relationship types. So right now it's looking for any regular mates, planar alignments, offset alignments. Again, once you process it all, go ahead and accept it.
close it on out and then you can see here everything has a relay everything is pretty much fully defined with the handle still being hands grounded and the housing and everything else is now fully defined inside the assembly and normally this is how much depth you I mean I just is just real quick strip everything at the appropriate uh, relationships on there that way it won't move you may go in there and look at maybe some of these uh, axle rotations aren't locked but yet still it's fully defined that's just because Solid Edge went and found the most appropriate you know relationship you may go in there and start going as like well I'm gonna go ahead and you know if you start messing around with the assembly then later removing relationships you'll see that some of them then you'll go in there and have to fine tune some of it now but the main point of the tool is either to help you quickly get on your way get to the point where you need to go so you see there I, I ungrounded the handle because hey, I want that one to spin and now I had grounded my housing so my housing is now you know my housing would then be you know my keystone of the entire assembly everything would be based on it and I can rearrange him in the list kind of move him up to the top or close to the top as I can and say you know if I wanted this handle to then spin I'd have to go in there and take a look at what's actually constraining this handle now you can see there I've got a plane to plane it's kind of holding this in place so if we go ahead and suppress it we'll try to drag there we go now my handle spins and I can go ahead and start doing some other I can start doing some other relay uh, assembly things but that's just a quick little tutorial on how to use the relationship assistant uh, it's a very powerful tool especially with imported imported assemblies one it'll help you quickly strip away any grounded relationship and rebuild it with most of the mundane you know it'll go ahead and rebuild your basic relationships too as far as even fully defining your assembly but it go ahead and saves time it saves a lot of time especially for having you to go in there and pick and select the lead and then pick on there through so if you can see there I'm gonna have a fully grounded you know I went ahead and modify got the assembly I can go ahead and save it start making my assembly uh, assembly parts uh, family of parts assembly alternate positions stuff like that all from foreign a foreign assembly that was read into solid edge and once you save of course you have all your parts but thanks uh, thanks for watching this quick little video blog um, be sure to check back uh, we have cool little tips and tricks going to solid edge and coming soon uh, some more team center stuff so thanks for watching